Meters, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, the wine guy from Constellation Brands. You, you can't pour yourself? I got Tyrannosaurus arms. I can't reach the bottle. I better pour a little more this time. You oh, wow. That <laughs> Logan, yeah. What is it, Stagnite? What? <laughs> I hope you're driving. <laughs> My you gosh. Go. Oh, nice. All right. And, and this is such a great wine, not only to taste, but to cook with, because yeah. it just adds such a nice complexity to the sauce. I mean, the, the notes that are in here, these flavor notes. I'm tasting um, the buttery Chardonnay. Right. Not too dry, though. No, not too dry, but uh, you got the buttery in there, and then also you got its fresh pear tasting. I can taste fresh that. Peach. Peach? Yeah. Anything exactly. else? Basically, that's it. A little, that's, little apple. You know, okay. you know, everybody's got different palates, so it's going to you know, taste a little different to everybody. And you everybody. can taste it on different parts of your tongue. Right, absolutely. And I can taste that sweetness and mm -hmm. a little of that tang on the back of my tongue right, right now. Right, The citrus, is, citrus from the, from the pear and yeah. peach. Yeah, so when we're talking about pairing dishes, too, again, remember, don't mm. let anybody tell you which, what you should drink with what. You know, think about what wines you like, first of all. You can go back to front. You can go and say, hey, I like this type of wine. What kind of food do we want to drink with it or eat with it? Or figure out what kind of dish you have and then go and pick out the wine. But uh, first of all, Chef has is, is, is got the great mahi here. So in... Uh, the Marlin. Marlin, I'm sorry. Marlin Perkins. Marlin Perkins is here. He's, Where? He's back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, think about when you get served a, a, a fish mm. meal. And you know mm. what kind of aspects? We got oils, and sometimes when you get served a fish meal, they give you a little slice of lemon to even suggest on there. So what do we have in here? We got the citrus, we got the pear. So exactly. they're already telling you that citrus pairs well with that. So we got the pear in here that's citrus, so you know that that's gonna pair well. And, and Chef already said this has got a little buttery, and he's got a big old dish of butter right there. So we Can got buttery. Can you see this over here, how it reduced by half? And you're right, I do got butter because this is not a uh, recipe for the faint of heart. See that? See how we're reduced by half? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is start adding some cold butter. I'm using a fancy whip. I like it. But use butter chunks. I'm not going to put all this in there. Come on, more butter. Maybe I will. <laughs> so you kind of pull it off the heat and you start whipping it in. This is basically an emulsion sauce, meaning that obviously when you put that, hot, that cold butter into the hot uh, liquid, the first batch is going to melt, but you can see, can you see how this is like melting a little slow now because it's actually cooled down that liquid? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, keep it off the heat there and just slowly add some more cold butter. And obviously this is a French sauce. You know why? Because <laughs> they don't really care about weight. They care about flavor, right? When I lived in Paris for a while, which I was fortunate enough to go to school there for a while and studied at the La Varenne. <laughs> Uh, it was an incredible experience because it was the classic French cooking that I was learning and how the, the sauces were the different layers of flavors. When it, when it meshes with, with a, a liquor, like a, a wine or a thing like that, with a food, a protein, that's magic. Yeah. You know? I mean, the French, they got it down, obviously. But I'll tell you what, I stole a few of their ideas. And uh, although I, I like this uh, sauce, you can't eat it all the time, you know? I mean, it's, you know, you, you blow up like a balloon. <laughs> like it's just, stung by a bee. Yeah, it's just too rich. It really is. But I do love it so. <laughs> but look at, you see how that sauce is? That's great. That's now, it's great. not a real heavy-duty, thick, thick sauce. It just emulsifies, and it gets on to this, uh, the fish, and just kind of sticks a little bit. It's got to be real light. You know, I don't want it too, too thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Let's put this fish up here. And uh, that, oh, this marlin this is incredible. Doesn't that look nice? I mean, if you go to a restaurant, what do you think you'd pay for something like this? 35. 35. Tell you what, you can go over to VJ's and get this, and you could probably, for 35 bucks, feed a family of four or six. That's beautiful. You know? When you make stuff by yourself at home, and this isn't brain surgery, it's not that difficult to do. Give it a try. Hey, if you don't like capers, forget about it. Take them out, don't put them in. I don't mind, just don't invite me. <laughs> I like capers. <laughs> but it's, if it's one of those things where, hey, you know what? You use my recipes as a guide, and then mm -hmm. go from there. Just like what wine is, Absolutely. like you were saying, Dave. Absolutely. You know? Just use it as a guide, for mm -hmm. Pete's sake. So this sauce just kind of laces over the top. Oh my God.
you know, with all these goodies. And that's what the French like to do. Just lace it. Don't smother it. Just lace it. I want to get some of those, the, the capers and the tarragon. That's nice. The tarragon is a very French style of uh, herb. It has a very unique flavor, and I like just putting a little bit of those capers and that on top. Whoa. And that's, that's good. And that's, that's it. And you know, try it. That's beautiful. That's great. Sometimes you can put a little pepper in there, a little salt, but I, I like it like that with the Bernays backing. The backing is the capers, shallots, and tarragon. So normally, if you were to make this as a hollandaise, one of the mother sauces, a hollandaise sauce, which is all egg yolk and butter, next thing you do is you make that reduction, and then you add that to it, and, and you're good to go. Now, obviously, this, this is going to go great with that right. fish. Right. And any uh, like parting uh, words, like uh, yeah. how to buy? We got like a minute left for you to little, say little quick something tip. cool. If you're out there, you know what kind of food you're going to have for the meal. Most of the wines on the back, they give a little description of what the wine tastes like. So hmm. think about what the food tastes like, read the description of what the wine tastes like, and see if how that would feel in your mouth together. And if it, if it looks like it's good, buy it. And it's recycled. And recycling like the label. <laughs> you know, which I like. Yeah. Just you throw it away, you gotta send it back to them. That's right, <laughs> that's right. Hey, you recycled it, you deal with it. <laughs> no, it's great. So you think we can have Dave Matthews on the show? So you're pumping him. his wine? I'll call him. Can I throw in your name? Throw, yeah, he knows me. We hung out. You got it. We played uh, rugby together. Food I'll tell you what. Food and wine. Food and wine. Who loves you, baby? Dave Meters, ladies and gentlemen. Constellation Brands. We'll be back in a minute. And while this is cooking, I want to bring out a fella who's incredible. Dave Meters works with Constellation Brands. He's our wine guy. We're going to call Dave. You're our new wine guy, right? Yeah. How you doing, Chef? Good seeing you, Dave. Good to see Dave you Matters, too. ladies and gentlemen, the wine guy. Now I know a little bit about wine, but you know, you, you probably know a little bit more than me. But what I found out was, salute. Oh, salute first. Very important. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Now, if you had some real cooking wine, they put salt in it. Really? The old chefs used to put salt in the wine. Why they do that? To keep the guys from drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you buy that stuff that's already in a bottle that says cooking wine, it has a little salty taste to it, and you know why. <laughs> and it just basically, why, why, why use that wine when you could use great wine? Did that keep them from drinking it? it not a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> they actually went to the hard stuff. Hey, yeah, yeah, you really tricked us. Four vodkas. You know, it's like, Dave, it didn't help. It didn't work. It didn't help. They I'm going to flip the fish. And why don't we talk about the wine that you, uh, you have today, or just about wine in general. I mean, it's, it's, you, you're the expert. Well, I'm not an expert, but uh, I know how much you like farm to table. Oh, yes. So we brought a wine that's vine to, vine to table vine for Vine to you. table. That's exactly. going to be your next catchphrase. So not only is this an uh, interesting story about this wine, but uh, there's some exciting green aspects of this wine, too. It's called the Dreaming Tree. It's an exciting collaboration between our, our winemaker at Simi Winery, Steve Reeder, and also the musician, Dave Matthews. They both met at a um, benefit several years ago, and they both found out they had a lot of interest together, not only in the environment, but also they were wine lovers and music lovers. So our winemaker, Steve Reeder, invited them out to our mm -hmm. Simi Winery in Sonoma, and they decided to make a wine together. Came out about three years ago. It's been very successful. Uh, some of the environmental things about this wine, this wine is, this bottle is a quarter pound lighter than most wine bottles. Makes it uh, easier to recycle. This glass is craft paper, so it's 100% recyclable. So those are just a few of the things that are gonna help the environment on there about this wine. And uh, a real cork too, I read, right? It's 100% uh, real cork, which also helps the recycling aspects of that too. So, and wine's supposed to be fun. Don't let anybody tell you what you're supposed to drink. If you like a wine, drink it. And as far as pairing, we're gonna talk about that. First, first note is, if you like the wine, you know, drink it, eat it with the food that you like. We're gonna talk about, if you ask me what it should pair with, I'll tell you, but drink it with what you like. Drink the wine with the food you like, first of all. And That's what I like that. You know, yeah. we were talking about that before. It's unpretentious. Absolutely, wine's supposed to be fun. Don't make it so snobby where everyone yeah. thinks that you have to 
oh, you can't have red with this fish. Right, absolutely. Why not? It was on sale. No, or if that, <laughs> no, I mean, what if that happens to be part. your favorite wine? Yeah. Or those guests that are coming over, you don't want to spend that much. Yeah. You know, I got some of those. Keep it Why in the not? brown bag. Exactly. Why not? <laughs> Uncle Louie's in the back, sit next to him. But anyway, hey, we're going to come back in a, in a minute. We're going to go out with these guys here, the Candy Bullets and Johnny Valentine. Sounds good. Let's when we come back, wine. i got to finish my sauce. It's a, a Blue Marlin with a Bill Blanc Bernays. Hope you all enjoy. Play us out, boys, while we drink wine.